Member for Denison. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question is to the Prime Minister. Prime Minister, Van Diemen's Land Company, started in 1824, is the largest dairy asset in Australia, owned by New Zealanders and up for sale. The owners accepted a bid by a majority Australian consortium committed to producing premium branded dairy products, but they have been gazumped by a Chinese bulk commodity enterprise. Prime Minister, will you intervene to ensure this iconic and economically strategic, strategic holding is returned to Australian ownership? Member for Lyons will, will not interject. The Prime Minister has the call. The, uh, the Honourable Member for his question, but given that uh, foreign investment falls within the Treasury portfolio, I'll invite the Treasurer to respond in more detail. The Treasurer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I thank the <laughs> Prime Minister for his question. Those opposite may not be interested in the answer, Mr. Members Speaker. Members on my I'm left. Sure the member is interested in the answer. Uh, it has the answer. been reported that uh, a Supreme Court judge in Victoria has upheld an injunction temporarily holding the sale of Tasmanian dairy business Van Diemen's Land to a foreign buyer. Uh, the injunction was brought by an Australian company, Tas Foods Limited, uh, which has reported to the Australian Stock Exchange that a further court hearing will be uh, held on December 3. Now, this is a company that has always been in foreign ownership. I'm advised, Mr. Mr. Speaker, and there are appropriate processes for Australia's foreign investment laws to be upheld and appropriate scrutiny to be applied to those issues. Now, the foreign investment rules do provide for Australia's national interest to be protected, and most acquisitions by foreign buyers of agricultural land valued at 15 million or more are required to be screened by the Foreign Investment Review Board, with ultimately a decision to be taken by uh, the government, Mr. Speaker. Uh, in particular, foreign persons must get a, a approval for a proposed acquisition of an interest in agricultural land where the cumulative value of that land owned by the foreign person, uh, including the proposed purchase, is more than 15 million. Now, Mr. Speaker, in recent days we have seen the passage of further um, tightening and uh, appropriate restrictions uh, being placed on how foreign investment is viewed by this government. Uh, we take these issues very seriously. We know that uh, Australians put a great trust in the Australian government to make decisions about foreign investment and what is allowed and what is not allowed. And that is one of the reasons why we have re re reduced the screening thresholds, particularly as applies to agricultural hand, but also agribusinesses as well. Mr. Speaker. Now, those changes were opposed, and they were opposed by those opposite, Mr. Speaker. They were opposed by those opposite. I, I don't know why they were opposed, why they think the Australian people shouldn't allow their, have their government take a close interest in these issues and, 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 and assess uh, the, uh, the national interest issues that apply to those things, Mr. Speaker. They must just, I mean, they had the same view about residential real estate, Mr. Speaker. They were happy for, and the member for, for foreign investors to come and buy up residential real estate across the country and have that unchecked. They are happy when they are in government not to put the resources into those issues as well, Mr Speaker. The member for Denison. Has the Treasurer concluded his answer? Member for Denison on a point of order. Uh, speaker on relevance, the question goes to government intervention above and beyond the Foreign Investment Review Board. The member for Herbert's warned. The member for Denison will resume his seat. The Treasurer has the call. The Treasurer is in order. Mr Speaker, the government has its processes. Parts. We've tightened those processes. The Foreign Investment Review Board reviews these matters when they, when they come before them, and they make recommendations to the government, to me as Treasurer, and then a further consideration is made. Now, as the Treasurer, I recently made a decision in relation to Kidman & Co, uh, which gives an indication of, of the diligence we apply to these, but we also made decisions in relation to trans transcript, Mr Speaker, where we, we imposed the tightest conditions on that sale in New South Wales to ensure that the national interest is protected. The this government will always ensure the national interest.